it is reported that around 13 million tons of plastic enter the ocean every year, equal to a trash truckload's quantity dumped into it every 60 seconds. It floats through various parts of the globe, causing immense damage to aquatic life, penetrating the environment, and even affecting human lives to a large extent. Yet, it continues being dumped relentlessly by the world, adding fuel to the destroyed ecosystem. But what if there is a project that helps stop one of the biggest dangers the Earth faces? Luckily, there is a mega project that aims to save the ocean. Keep watching the video till the end to find out about it. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates. The mega project, which works as a massive boon for the ocean, is named the Ocean Cleanup Project. It was launched by Boyan Slat. He has been acknowledged as one of the world's 20 most promising entrepreneurs of the youth globally and is the youngest person to ever receive the award Champion of the Earth, the UN's biggest environmental commendation for starting this project. He is the CEO of the nonprofit foundation Ocean Cleanup, which creates and mounts technologies to get rid of plastics in oceans around the world. The organization strives to eradicate 90% of wafting plastic in the ocean by 2040. In 2011, when he was 16 years old, he went on a vacation in Greece and decided to go scuba diving in Greece. He was disappointed to notice that there were more plastic bags in the sea than fish, which raised a question in his mind, why don't we clean our ocean? So he began looking into the terrible situation and feasible technological solutions to solve ocean pollution by plastic. Since he was only a high school student then, he dedicated a school assignment to expand his idea further. While researching, he found a breakthrough after discovering that surprisingly, the ocean's currents or tides can be utilized to accomplish the cleanup. So he presented his idea that it is possible to let plastic come to you rather than going after it in 2012 at a TEDx conference. Slat summarized the proposal in October. The preliminary design consisted of long floating impediments attached to the seabed, thereby fixed to a central platform that was shaped like a devilfish ray for stability. The impediments or barriers would orchestrate the fluttering plastic towards the central platform, which would finally discard the plastic from the water body. Sadly, his idea didn't gain any valuable reaction, so he started studying aerospace engineering in college, but the passion he had for his aim would not leave him. After six months, he decided to drop out of college and launch the Ocean Cleanup Project on his own. He did not have any investors at the time, so he used his savings, which amounted to approximately $300, to start the project. But things took a better turn in March 2013, when his TED Talk of the previous year went viral after the news platforms picked it up. So the investment wasn't a problem for him, and he could easily look into solving the bigger problem. He received initial funding of $90,000, which helped his ambition of cleaning the ocean possibly be turned into a serious reality. He not only received financial assistance, but also overwhelming support from the people. They wanted to assist him with their skills. Hundreds of engineers and scientists came forward and volunteered to work with him and find out what it would take to get rid of the plastic discarded in the ocean and how they could achieve this mission. Boyan and the people together decided to undertake the greatest hurdle at first and prioritized the Great Pacific Garbage. A patch resulted in it being the biggest garbage patch to date in the world and is larger than the other four patches existing combined. Except for this, interceptors were planned to be placed in rivers to curb plastic from infiltrating the oceans. After approximately 273 scale criterion tests, including six at-sea prototypes, detailed plotting of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch with an airplane, and 30 vessels comprising various technology iterations, the Ocean Clean Project was prepared to start developing their first system. It followed a six-month build in California and in September of 2018, Wilson, or System 001, was launched, marking a vital step for the project's goal to get rid of the plastic in oceans. In October 2018, System 001 was installed in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, but this was not the intended culmination of the System 001 operator. Instead, of course, it is created with an iterative plan, uncovering the shortcomings in our design which is necessary for success. Called incredible learning scopes, these challenges provided them with an outstanding awareness of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch setting and how the system behaves in the environment. Utilizing the ideas and data compiled from System 001's operation offshore, the Ocean Cleanup Company went back to the diagram blueprint. They then administered a core cause examination for the unsuccessful plastic retention 
and its structural delinquency. It was inferred that the system was required to retain a uniform speed through the water body to efficiently capture and detain the plastic. Regarding the structural fissure, they deduced that pressure concentrations at the well junctures in the dovetail connected areas resulted in material exhaustion. So, with these interpretations, the engineering division worked and invented remedies to deal with both issues and assimilate them into the following iteration design which went into trial in 2019, known as System 001-B. System 001 was a significant landmark. It was the first time the company could successfully test its scale technology in its deliberate setting, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. They ultimately understood many important lessons from it, which they could use to work on and curate the technology on the road toward achieving system validation. System 002 or 001B will continue to collect plastic in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and the company has already commenced working on System 3, a bigger elevated ocean system that is anticipated to be the blueprint layout for scaling a line of operations. To accomplish this mission, the requirement of a cleanup technology that not only seized plastic, but whose method and performance are suited for improvement on a global scale was necessary. System 001B was started in 2019 and attained approximate speed difference that concluded in beneficial assemblage and plastic retention. But in order to fulfill the goal of 90% removal of fluttering plastic in the ocean by 2040, its parachute surf anchor design would require the organization to install hundreds of systems. It is impossible so they continue to expand the analysis and design to overcome this because, with a continual problem that increases every day, there is a necessity to curtail ocean pollution as rapidly as possible. System 002 exemplified that the ocean cleanup's operations can efficiently and continually collect plastic. So, since this is proven, the evolution to the next system or System 3 and a parallel test campaign will enable the organization to advance to the next stage of the cleanup, which is enhancing the blueprint and broadening to a full fleet of operations required to clean the whole Great Pacific garbage patch. System 3 will be this blueprint. The ocean tidying technology has now received validation, and the constant deportation of plastic from the project is now a feasible reality. The subsequent stride in the journey is to transition from this triumphant trial operation towards a system huge and capable enough to tidy up the entire GPGP. So the organization has now moved towards the scaling up step of the operation with System 3, which is thrice the size of System 2 and competent of collecting much broader volumes of plastic at a lesser cost per kilogram that is eliminated on a continual year-round basis. It is believed that large improvements in size and uptime can result in a system 10 times as productive as its antecedent. By putting System 3 into action, the mega project will transform from System 2 in phases, developing and deploying better and upgraded factors that will be inducted one after another that will enable analyzing and learning from the recorded data at every step in the evolution. This strategy will decrease functioning stake during the transition and allow the team to formulate modifications incrementally, which means the effect of the very dynamic advancements separately. By transitioning the system at the water body, the upgradation and research can be done parallelly with cleaning the ocean. This is how the mega project will save the ocean. That's it for today's video. If you liked it, then do press the like and share button. Thank you so much for watching our video today, and we will see you in the next one.